NC State kicked off the new millennium with a seasoned coaching staff that brings a combined 217 years of NCAA experience to Raleigh. Head coach Chuck Amato has been part of 11 ACC championship teams and has two national championship rings. Amato brings a fiery attitude to the NC State team. Under his guidance, the pack plays with emotion, with confidence. Most of all, they play hard every snap of the game. Amato handpicked his coaching staff. He wanted experience and he wanted commitment. He got both. The staff is comprised of a former head coach, two offensive and defensive coordinators, three coaches that have NFL experience, and one coach who chose the Wolfpack over the Green Bay Packers and Brett Favre. Head coach Chuck Amato gives his pack offense a simple direction week after week. Pass the football. And quarterback sensation Phillip Rivers gets the message. In his knockout first season calling signals for NC State, Rivers won the ACC Rookie of the Week award nine times. And with 2,967 total yards, he finished the season 12th in the nation in total offense. Rivers cruised to the ACC Rookie of the Year award. With Ray Robinson winning top conference rookie honors in 98, and Corin Robinson taking the prize in 99, Rivers' award makes it a packed repeat. Like any all-star quarterback, Rivers has a favorite target. 62 times this season, a Rivers pass found Corin Robinson. Last year's ACC Rookie of the Year winner, Robinson was the top receiver in the conference in 2000 with 1,061 receiving yards. Robinson also set a pack record this season when he logged 100 receiving yards in six straight games. Robinson is on pace to battle the legendary Torrey Holt as the most prolific receiver in NC State history. Buddy Green's return to NC State in 2000 sparked his defensive unit to hit hard, hit often, and attack the football. All-American linebacker LeVar Fisher did some flying of his own in 2000. The Bronco Nagurski finalist was the top knockdown artist in the country, leading the nation in both total tackles with 158 and in average tackles per game with 14.8. Fisher's backfield mate, safety Adrian Wilson, did his share of scaring opposing offenses. His 103 tackles was the third highest season total on the team, and his average of 10.4 tackles per game makes Wilson one of the most feared safeties in the conference. Fisher, Wilson, and the rest of the pack defense have made a statement. Offenses, beware. The Wolfpack will attack. The motto for NC State football in 2000 was finish. And they did that in a very big way in their first two games. Against Arkansas State, the pack ended regulation with a goal line stand that sent the game into overtime. The next week against Indiana, a fourth quarter scoring strike from Rivers to Robinson lifted Amato and company to its second straight win. Rivers dominated the field against the Hoosiers, throwing 31 pass completions for an ACC record-breaking total of 401 yards and five touchdowns. Seven days later, NC State took on the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech, and it was like deja vu all over again. The Pack started the fourth quarter against Tech on the losing end of the scoreboard, but the Pack had been there before and knew exactly what to do. Like clockwork, Rivers hit his targets. First, Corin Robinson on a six-yard touchdown pass that capped a 74-yard drive. And when a tie score at the end of the fourth quarter sent the game into overtime, Rivers and Robinson found magic again this time for a 23-yard touchdown that sealed the game for NC State. The Wolfpack clinched their fourth consecutive win, taking the sting out of the Yellow Jackets. In college sports, neighbors make the greatest rivals, and in the world of football, there is no greater rivalry than the ongoing battle between NC State and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. At halftime, the pack led by seven, and any hopes Carolina had for a comeback were spoiled by a smart, tough defensive pack unit that slammed the door on the heels. By the end of the day, the State D had pinned Carolina runners behind the line of scrimmage for a net loss of 71 yards and had nailed the UNC quarterback for a total of five sacks. At the end of the game, Carolina was dragging its heels. The pack had outrun, outpassed, outplayed, and outscored them to earn North Carolina bragging rights. It was a big year for the pack. State players dominated the conference with seven all ACC selections.
and made some noise on the national front as two pack players were named All-Americans. LeVar Fisher was also named ACC Defensive Player of the Year.